to do certain things. And then if you do those things, you lose your insurance or you, I mean, I don't know. You know, just so that people, so there's something motivating people to want to take responsibility, be a little bit more careful about what sites they're going to, um, you know, and sort of police, do more police in themselves so the government doesn't have to. And then to actually have a benefit from that by either maybe they get 10% 10, 10, 10 or 20% discount on their internet service if they mm -hmm. do this and they get into an insurance right. pool. So, so the bad actors who choose not to take advantage of the incentives, yeah. you still need insurance on you to protect you from being a victim. Because bad actors won't take advantage of the incentives any more than they follow the rules. But I, I really like the creativity of that. Is on the individual level, when it comes to uh, licen licensing individuals, um, currently uh, there's a big issue with the government regulating intellectual property, um, downloading files illegally, and things of that matter. What happens when uh, individuals violate their terms of, of user agreements, essentially, their, their licenses. Um, what actions could the government take to, to enforce that? Um, right, and we're not predicting, but in this scenario, it could be a scary answer to that, that your license gets pulled and you can't log into anything. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. France. Maybe they take away your license. Like France. Yeah. Three strikes policy, like Heather mm -hmm. says, we have in France right now. So it's not just the publisher, but the user side.